Records International. This unique geophysical instrument, combines three proven treasure hunting techniques in one, all with real-time imaging. Geoelectric probes, magnetometer and metal detector, for the user to validate the target, by triple scanning it, to get reliable results. Examiner is a real performing, professional search instrument. Before starting a new scan, the first square must be on a piece of ground that is not being dug, and free from metal. Click options. Select examiner mode. Probes. Select data collection mode. Manual. Click repeatedly to select the sweep direction. You prefer to scan this field, depending upon your starting position, with the four probes. Enter the grid size. Sweeps, must be equal to the points, to get a good scan image. Depending upon the dimensions of your probe's square, and the size of the field, the field must be divided in parallel lines, or sweeps, and probe squares per line, or points, to be scanned. The computer screen will look like your grid, right after. Set the distance between the red, and the black sets of probes. As this increases the location depth also increase. Ensure auto scale is on. New users should leave game to zero. Click, set game, set mode, and OK to exit. Geoexaminer needs to identify and reject the ground type. For this rotate the ground balance knob, until zero appears at the soil data window. A good ground spot will show the complete soil data scale from positive to negative 500 or even higher, as the ground balance knob is rotated all the way. Ensure that the knob would not be rotated again accidentally during the scan. Click capture. You hear, move, move one set of probes, for example the red, opposite the black, to make the new square, and so on. The underground image for that piece of ground, appears immediately when clicking capture. With the 22 probe system, a considerable larger area compared to the 4 probe is scanned, faster and provides a higher resolution on the scan image. Click options. Select examiner mode. Probes. Select data collection mode. 22 probes auto. Click repeatedly to select the sweep direction, you prefer to scan this field, depending upon your starting position, in parallel lines with the 22 probe cables. Enter the grid size, you have to divide the field in lines, or sweeps, to scan with the 22 probe cables, laid parallel. Each line has 10 probe squares, or points. Sweeps, must be equal to the points, to get a good scan image. Set the distance between the red, and the black sets of probes. As this increases the location depth also increase. Ensure auto scale is on. New users should leave game to zero. Click, set game, set mode, and OK to exit. Before starting a new scan, the first square must be on a piece of ground that is not being dug, and free from metal. Geoexaminer needs to identify and reject the ground type.
For this rotate the ground balance knob, until zero appears at the soil data window. A good ground spot will show the complete soil data scale from positive to negative 500 or even higher, as the ground balance knob is rotated all the way. Ensure that the knob would not be rotated again accidentally during the scan. Click start by 10. As the gel examiner scans and visualizes each probe square you hear, next. When the scan of the first sweep completes you hear, complete. Move the first cable, for example the red, parallel to the black, fit the probes, and click start by 10, to visualize the next sweep line, on screen. Click Options. Select Examiner Mode. Magnet. Select Data Collection Mode. Manual. That is suitable for uneven ground, with bushes or rocks. When scanning, you have to click Capture, and then make your next step. Step. Auto is suitable for flat ground. Set the time you prefer for your steps in seconds at the intervals window. When scanning, you click start. Start. When you hear step, you must make a step. 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 Click repeatedly to select the sweep direction. You prefer to scan this field, depending upon your starting position. Enter the grid size. Sweeps must be equal to the points to get a good scan image. Sweeps are the parallel lines you plan to divide the field and points are your steps, on each sweep line. Ensure auto scale is on. Click, set mode, and OK to exit. Before starting a new scan, the first square must be on a piece of ground that is not being dug, and free from metal. Extend your arm away from the screen, and your body. Place the magnetometer tip on the ground, far from any metal. Power on, and wait 15 seconds, completely motionless, while the Joe examiner will automatically zero the soil data. And then start scanning, with the magnetometer tip touching the ground, on each step. Click Options. Select Examiner Mode. Detector. Select Data Collection Mode. Manual. That is suitable for uneven ground, with bushes or rocks. When scanning, you have to click Capture, and then make your next step. 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 Auto is suitable for flat ground. Set the time you prefer for your steps in seconds at the intervals window. When scanning, you click start. When you hear step, you must make a step.
step. Click repeatedly to select the sweep direction. You prefer to scan this field, depending upon your starting position. Enter the grid size. Sweeps must be equal to the points to get a good scan image. Sweeps are the parallel lines you covering with the detector head. Points are the movements of the head for each sweep. Ensure auto scale is on. Click set mode and OK to exit. Before starting a new scan, the first square must be on a piece of ground that is not being dug, and free from metal. Place the detector head on the ground, rotate the sensitivity knob, while simultaneously pressing the reset key, until 100 appears at the soil data window. To make the detector less sensitive to interference, set the sensitivity lower, to the point where the first numbers appear, at the soil data. Leave the reset key and start scanning, with the detector head near the ground surface. Occasionally press the reset key during the scan to overcome the changes of the ground minerals, if interference is received or when the ground is changing. Turn with the detector head to the next sweep. Turn. 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 Step. Step. When the scan image completes, click File, and, Save As, to store it. Click View, to select between two dimensional, and grid views, of your scan. Grid view indicates target depth when double click on the target cell. Click 3D view from main screen to open the three dimensional image. To analyze the scan, check that the image has a uniform base color. That color represents the ground. If the image has scrambled colors, then either it is a user fault, or no targets on the scan. Check the target image on the two-dimension view. It must have a good outline shape, and true size. It must cover a reasonable amount of cells for a void, but only one or two cells for a metal. Compare the data of the target on the 3D image, with the data of the ground. The data of the ground color, must be near zero for a good scan. The color of the ground may change, but it will always be like a carpet, filling most of the scan. A true target shows high variations, in most cases more than 200 on the data scale. Target data that are near zero are not a good evidence, and belong to minerals. To assist in your decision, make several check scans, at different angles, like drawing an X, above the target, using all the geoexaminer modes. Precious metals and tools, will have a good, and identical image on all modes. Please study the full instructions, and practice to become familiar with your Joe Examiner. We wish you the